Okay. Okay. All right. I'd like to call the meeting to order to all persons deemed interested or affected by the Town of Brunstable's Old Kings Highway Historic District Act under Section 9 of Chapter 470, Acts of 1973 is amended. You are hereby notified that a hearing will be held tonight on the applications listed on the agenda for Wednesday, October 26, 2022. We'd like to remind applicants and audience members that we're an elected volunteer committee following the guidelines of the Town of Barnstable's Old Kings Highway Historic District Act. Any applicant or interested party who is agreed by a decision of this committee has the right to appeal the decision to the Old Kings Highway Regional Historic District Commission. We ask that during the evening's proceedings, cell phones be turned off and conversations other than those before the committee take place outside this remote meeting. When an application is called, we ask the applicant and all interested parties in abutters to identify themselves. Lastly, as a best practice for meetings held remotely, where we may not be able to visually identify who is speaking, we ask all committee members and participants to identify themselves before making any motion or comment. Online audience members wishing to participate during the public comment section of the hearing can use the raise hand button to notify the chair. Dial in audience members wishing to participate during the public comment section of the hearing should press star nine on their phone to notify the chair. All participants will be muted. You must be recognized by the chair to participate. First order of business for the evening is roll call vote or roll call attendance. I'm sorry, Bette McCarthy. Here. George Jessup. Yeah. Leslie Wallace. Leslie Wallace. Unmute yourself. Are you here, Leslie? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Ryan Caholan. Here. Uh, Wendy Shuck. Here. And Paul Richard here. I'm um, seeing we have a full committee. Um, Wendy, um, you're not going to be a voting member for the evening. You can participate in the uh, discussions, though. All right. First order of business for the evening is um, first application is Cape Arts and Entertainment Inc., DBA Cape Symphony, 2235 Iano Road, West Principal, Matt. 215 parcel 022 built 1973 to replace current sign with updated version identifying new marks no change in position or size do we have uh, the applicant or representative here uh rich swastiak cape symphony present and Good evening, you, cape symphony you want to give us a uh, little description of the project for sure. Um, we're just replacing the current sign at 2235. Um, the, the sign that's up currently is, um, is not representing our new marks. Um, there will be no change uh, with sizing or positioning. Um, it will just be a straight replacement using um, the company Simple Signs in West Yarmouth. Okay, same colors? Um, it will not be a wood sign. Um, I did send color photography um, from previously. So I guess it didn't scan through. Um, but uh, the marks would be um, our new symbol, the avatar in the center would be a royal blue, white background. Kimber Woods would have a gray background right uh, okay. behind the white words. Okay, so why don't we go to committee discussion? Um, Beth? Um, I think the sign is appropriate and I don't see any issues with it. Okay, George. I uh, have the same opinion. Okay, uh, Leslie? Fine with me. Okay, Ryan. I think it's appropriate. Okay, Wendy. Yeah, I actually think it's got too much white. I think it's a little bit stark for um, for my taste. You know, I'd like to see maybe some darker background colors because um, I think it's an awful lot of white on there. Okay, the original one was um, dark background with white letters. This is um, dark letters with a white background. That, that seems to be the only change in color. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. Okay. Um, it is, you know, we only have a, a limited color palette. So it's either black with a white logo and the blue, or it's white with the black mark and the blue. Um, keeping in with the institutional colors. Um, it's also keeping in with the Cape College, uh, Cape Cod Community College sign is white, as well as the YMCA sign is white. So there is some consistency there. Okay, you you good with that, Wendy? Or you still have concerns? Yeah, I, I I just don't think it really style fits myself. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I I think it's appropriate for what's in the area. Um, yeah, the YMCA, the the, the college one. 
and seeing it's the same same size and the same location, um, I think it's appropriate. Um, is there any public comment? Chair, this is Kate Maldonado. At this time, I do not see any members of the public raising their okay. hand. Seeing none, can we have a motion? Yes, um, this is Beth McCarthy, and I move to approve the Certificate of Appropriateness for Cape Arts and Entertainment Incorporated, DBA, uh, Cape Symphony, 2235 INO Road, West Barnstable, map 215, parcel 022, built 1973, to replace the current sign with an updated version signifying new marks, no change in the position or the size. Okay, can we have a second? I'll second, Joyce Jessup. Okay, all in favor, roll call vote. Bette McCarthy. Aye. George Jessup. Aye. Leslie Wallace. Aye. Ryan Caholan. Aye. And Paul Richard, aye. Well, thank you and have a good evening. Thank you. The okay, next application is Thomas Knapp, 331 Old Jail Lane, Barnstable, Map 277, Parcel 037, built 1992, install, inst installation of a roof-mounted solar energy system on two roof planes. Solar panels are black in color and have a matte finish. Both roof planes will be visible from Amazon Trail Public Way. Do we have the owner or representative here? Representative Greta Mass Yellow from Sunrun. Good evening. You want to give us a uh, rundown of your project? So the home is really far off from Jailhouse Road, um, but the panels could be seen from uh, the Amazon walking trail that is behind it. Uh, there is some foliage behind it as well. Uh, panels will be black on black. Um, pretty uh, symmetrical uh, in regards to uh, the design um but not visible from the actual road itself okay um why don't we go to committee discussion Beth? um it's a very remote area um it would just be visible from a walking trail with still a lot of um, trees in the area so um i don't have any issue with um it i would prefer um uh a rectangular straight um, array of the, um, the panels, but um, due to the remoteness, I do not have an issue with it. Okay, George. As George. usual, I like to see the uh, solar panels uh, laid on as a part of the uh, design of the building rather than showing as uh, uh, stuck on. So I don't like to see them broken up by uh, piping that might also be rearranged inside the attic or whatever to vent uh, uh, in another place so that they don't have to chop up solar panels. Other than that, I don't have any protest here. I think yeah, this one, there's no pipe on this one. This one's a chimney that breaks up the big front one. And then the other ones stagger mm -hmm. up the uh, gate, up the, up the valley. So that's where the step is. Um, Leslie. Uh, yep, yeah, it is. It's very remote. Uh, I just have one question on the smaller um, roof line. It seems like the whole roof is done, but the lower right hand corner. What's with that? I may be looking. Okay. Yeah, right there. You can't um, stick one in there. Because of the roof line of the of the garage, it kind of okay. cuts it off a little bit. So we're not oh. able to put a full panel right, right there um, with having the appropriate like setbacks that we need for each area. Okay, I was just curious because I don't oh, mind it and it is you can't see it. So but okay, that explains it. You can't do it. You can't do it. Okay. Yeah, that small array is the valley I was talking about. That's why it's broken up like that. Um, oh, okay. All right. Okay, Ryan. Uh, if it was not for the remoteness of this, I would be challenging the fact that they're not rectangles. Uh, but given the location, the remoteness, um, I don't take any exception. Okay, Wendy. 
Yeah, I just had a question about the roof color. Is it, it looks light in the in the photos? Is that a light colored roof? And are you going to re-roof before you put the panels on? Um, it does not appear that we are going to re-roof it. it. Doesn't need to be re-roofed at this time. That is the color uh, from actual photos taken from the site audit. Okay. I, mean, I think it would be better if it was a dark roof, but again, I agree with everyone. It is so remote and only visible from a walking trail. I'm okay. Yeah, I heard the applicant or uh, the representative say it was black on black. It's black panels with black backgrounds, but it's actually the roof shingle colors, I believe is weathered wood or one of those weathered wood tones. So it's not really black, but mm -hmm. um, most of it's covered up and it's, it is sort of a remote yeah. area. Um, I go by there mountain biking a lot, like once a week, but, um, you know, and there are a lot of people walking, but it's not the main, it's not a thoroughfare. So I think in its um, location, I think it's appropriate. Um, is there any public comment? Chair, this is Kate Maltonato. At this time, I do not see any members of the public raising their hand. Okay, seeing none, can we have a motion? Yes, um, this is Beth McCarthy. And I move to approve the certificate of appropriateness for Thomas Snap 331 Old Jail Lane, Barnstable, map 277, parcel 037, built um, 1992, installation of roof mounted solar energy system on two roof planes. Solar panels are black in color and have a matte finish. <coughs> Both roof planes uh, will be visible from Amazon Trail Public Way as submitted in the plans. Can we have a second? Leslie Wallace, I'll second. Okay, well, right, Leslie beat you, you to it, George, so Leslie seconded it. Um, all in favor, Aye. roll call Aye. vote. Bette McCarthy. Aye. George Jessup. Aye. Leslie Wallace. Aye. Ryan Caholan. Aye. And Paul Richard, aye. Well, thank you and have a good evening. Thank you. Okay, next application is Gregory and Tracy Murphy, 188 Dromelin Lane, Barnstable, map 335, parcel 083, built 1994. Alterations to first floor interior space, new windows added, exterior doors replaced, side light added, front colonnade updated. Uh, second floor updated, new dormer on front side of house, gable and added above garage, new cupola and skylights, all windows, trim, siding and roofing to match existing. Do we have the owner or representative here? Good evening, my name is Paul Muldoon from Muldoon Architects. I'm Good evening. representing Greg and Tracy Murphy and their mm -hmm. project at 180 okay. Rommel and Lane. You, you run us through this project? I'd love to. Uh, the existing ranch style home built in 94, it sits at the end of the cul-de-sac on Dromelin Lane. Uh, the existing materials include uh, painted trim, painted shingles, uh, grass, a uh, gray asphalt roof shingle, um, white vinyl shutters, uh, vinyl windows with grids between the glass, uh, painted fiberglass doors and aluminum gutters. Uh, the project really uh, started with gaining space on, in the attic, utilizing the space that's existing to create uh, one, a bedroom, and two, a family room. Uh, the family room is defined by the shed dormer that sits at about the center line of uh, the existing ranch. Uh, with that, we've uh, also revised the colonnade just below that shed dormer, uh, removing the archways and um, redefining the colonnade with uh, columns that have the cap and base and simplifying the, the trim work around the, the beam above. Uh, lastly, we've added a dormer over the garage that mimics the existing uh, gable end here, um, both in, in roofing material, slope, and uh, window and shutters. Uh, as with the existing material, we, we're aiming to match everything. So painted cedar shingles to match the existing in color and exposure, uh, white painted trim, uh, vinyl shutters were appropriate and uh, vinyl windows with, again, grids between the glass. Uh, with that, I'm happy to answer any questions. Okay, then why don't we go to committee discussion, uh, Beth? Um, again, it's on the end of um, cul-de-sac on Dromolin. Um, I think the uh, plan submitted 
are appropriate. Um, it's better balanced than the original home and all the materials are matching existing and I'm comfortable with um, what's been proposed. Okay, George. I'm comfortable with what's proposed as well. Thank you. Okay, hey, Leslie. Uh, yes, and I like the matching gables. I think that's nice and adds balance. I think it looks great, yep. Okay, Ryan. Uh, like everyone else, I think it's a great design. I really like the matching end gables. I think that's going to help a lot, and I'm a big Cupola fan, so. <laughs> so hey, I love it. What? Wendy. Yeah, yes, I agree with what everyone has said. I think it looks great. Um, I actually prefer the new look of the house and the old look of the house. I think it fits the area. The materials are great. So uh, no concerns or questions on my end. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and I agree. I think um, it's appropriate. The material is appropriate. The design's appropriate. I think it dresses up a rather boring ranch to make it a more interesting house. And yep. Very good job. Um, is there any public comment? Chair, this is Kate Maldonado. At this time, I do not see any members okay, of the public raising their hand. We have a motion. Yes, um, this is Beth McCarthy, and I make a motion to approve the certificate of appropriateness for Tracy and Gregory Murphy. 188 Tremolin Lane, Barnstable, map 335, parcel 083, built 1994. Alterations to the first floor interior space, new windows added, exterior doors replaced, side light added, front colonnade updated, second floor updated, new dormer on the first uh, <coughs> side of the house, uh, gable end added above the garage, new cupola and uh, skylights, all windows, trim, siding, and roofing to match mm -hmm. existing as indicated in the plans so submitted. Okay, can we have a second? Ryan, go hold on, I'll second. Okay, all in favor, roll call vote. Bette McCarthy. Aye. George Jessup. Aye. Leslie Wallace. Aye. Ryan Caholan. Aye. And Paul Richard, aye. Well, thank you and have a good evening. Thank you very much. Appreciate okay. your time. Next up is minor modifications for Tracy Finnerty and Jonathan Anastos, 462 Main Street, West Barnstable, map 133, parcel 004, built 1967. An approved certificate of appropriateness was achieved on May 11th, 2022, on, on at the May 20 or at the May 11th, 2022 meeting, um, to paint the exterior trim of the house with Hamilton blue. The proposed modification is to re also replace damage missing in previous exterior trim color green, a mixture of vinyl and aluminum gutters with all aluminum with all aluminum gutters to match new existing trim color, Hamilton blue. Okay, that was a little bit uh, confusing. Tiny twister, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait till you read the motion. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there any uh, comment on this, Beth? No, I don't. Yeah, I mean, basically they're gonna go to all of that um, um, Hamilton blue everywhere, the gutter, the whatever else trim that they replaced from the green. So it's all gonna be one color. Um, George? Uh, what's the, uh, the color is Hamilton blue. Right. Uh, what's, what's the hue? Is that, uh, is that light, dark, what? I don't have a sample. I think it's medium blue, but we approve, we approve that for like 80% um, of the house before they had some other trim that was green. They were pulling the green trim off and they're changing the gutters which are white, they've got a gutter that's gonna be <laughs> Hamilton blue. So basically it's gonna be natural shingles and Hamilton blue for the trim. So it's all, okay. all one color now. Well, that's appropriate. Yeah, it seems appropriate. Thank um, you. Okay, Leslie. Yep, and it'll be more uniform, much better. Yeah, okay, Ryan. I uh, take no exception. Yeah, all right, uh, Wendy. Yep, no exception. Yeah, me either. I think it's going to look better all one color. Yeah. Um, can we have a motion? Yes, uh, this is Beth McCarthy, and I move um, to approve the minor modification for uh, Tracy Finnerty and Jonathan 
Anna Stos of 462 Main Street, West Barnstable, map 133, parcel 004, <laughs> built 1967. An approved certificate of appropriateness was achieved at the May 11th, 2022 meeting to paint the exterior trim of the house with Hamilton Blue. The proposed modification is uh, to also replace damage, missing, and previously exterior trim color green, a mixture of vinyl and aluminum gutters with all aluminum gutters to match the new existing trim color, Hamilton Blue by Artisan Gutters LLC as submitted in the plans. Okay, can we have a second? Leslie Wallace, I'll second. Okay, Leslie, I guess you outspoke him. Okay, uh, roll call vote, all in favor. Beth McCarthy. Aye. George Jessup. Aye. Leslie Wallace. Aye. Ryan Caholan. Aye. And Paul Richard Aye. All right, next up is minor modification for Carlos Kahina or Kahina, 61 Railroad Ave, Barnstable, map 278, parcel 012, built 1856. An approved certificate of appropriateness was achieved at the July 13th, 2022 meeting to demo a portion of retaining wall and build approximately 16, 62 feet of new block concrete wall with stone veneer finish. Proposed modification is to modify the material of the 115 foot retaining wall to be installed on the left side of the house looking from Railroad Ave with larger dry laid boulders. Um, can you pull up that picture, uh, Kate? Yeah, and I believe what was initially approved before was this one here that they've got. Yeah. And they, they went, instead of stone veneer, they went to dry laid boulders there too. So the whole thing is dry laid boulders, no, uh, no stone veneer. Um, this other one is on the side of the house. So you're looking at that yellow. Um, the right hand side of the screen is Railroad Avenue. And that is basically the lot line. And the other picture, it's a lower picture, shows where it's already dug out for that retaining wall. Yeah, scroll up a little, Kate. Yeah, right there. Right. So this is, this is that where that retaining um, boulder dry laid stone's gonna go. Um, and it's matching the stone that they've already got everywhere else. I think it's all appropriate. Um, Bet any concerns? Um, I visited the property. I think um, the wall with the large boulders is appropriate and I do not have any issues with that. Okay, George. Uh, I don't have any issue. Okay, um, Leslie. I think it's gonna look good, no issue. Okay, Ryan. I have no issues. Okay, Wendy. Yeah, I, I'm fine with the the um, the dry laid boulders, but just one question. So what's the difference between the 62 foot block and the 115 foot? I'm a little confused on that in here. Um, they're adding they're adding this wall on that last picture that showed the uh, left-hand side of the house between there and the property line. That's where the new boulder oh. walls go. And the other stuff has already been done. Okay, so that, this part is one. brand new. And the original one that he yeah, talked right. about, um, the stone veneer thing, and he changed that and that was all dry laid too. So yeah. there is no stone veneer anywhere. Oh, okay. Oh, it's all dry even laid. Better. So the whole thing right. is the same, same style of stone. Got it, even better, okay. I'm good. Can we have a motion? Yes, uh, this is Bette McCarthy and I make a motion that we approve the minor modification for um, Carlos Lahina, uh, 61 Railroad Avenue, Barnstable, map 278, parcel 012, built 1856. Um, an approved certificate of appropriateness was achieved at the July 13th, 2022 uh, meeting to demo a portion of the retaining wall and build approximately 62 feet of new block concrete wall with a stone veneer finish. The proposed modification is to modify the material of the 115 foot retaining wall to be installed on the left side of the house, looking from Railroad Avenue with larger dry laid boulders as submitted in the photos and the plans. Can we have a second? Ryan Kaholan, I'll second. 
All in favor, roll call vote. Beth McCarthy. Aye. George Jessup. Aye. Leslie Wallace. Aye. Ryan Caholan. Aye. And Paul Richard, aye. All right, next up, um, approval of minutes from October 12th, 2022. Any corrections? Um, Paul, I left. But I did read the meeting. Read the meeting. So can I vote? If you read the minutes, you can vote. Okay. Yes. Uh, one one edit on page two. The motion for three seventy nine Mid Pine was seconded by me, and they spelled my name Brian. Going to be. It's small, but <laughs> it's accurate. Okay. So do we have a motion to accept the amended or the corrected minutes for um, October 12th, 2022? Um, this is Beth McCarthy and I make a motion that we approve the minutes, um, the uh, amended movement minutes of October 12th, 2022 as submitted. Can we have a second? Ryan Cahol and I'll second. All in favor, roll call vote. Beth McCarthy. Aye. George Jessup. I haven't read them, I'll abstain. Okay, Leslie Wallace. Aye. Ryan Caholan. Aye. And Paul Richard, aye. All right, those are done. Um, the next meeting is November 9th, 2022 and December 14th, 2022. Um, and we have, just a reminder, we have the election. And I believe, uh, I'm trying to find it on the map now. Uh, was it November 23rd, I believe? Is that right, Kate? I think it's the 22nd, isn't it? 22nd. Yeah. Okay. When I want to put that in my Check. book. Yeah. Are you going to send out a... I'll send out an update associated with that. Okay, we got good. all applications yeah. that needed to, yeah. needed to be certified by... Oh, I'm sorry, Kate Maldonado, Assistant Director of Planning and Development. We got all applications. They needed to be certified by the town clerk, and they were due by Monday. And so the next step is I will be sending out a legal ad. So I'm just looking on here quickly. Gosh, I don't think I have it on this web page. I will send out an email to verify the date. I think it's- Yeah, it is the 22nd. I'm looking- Okay. It is, it's, it's November 22nd, which is Tuesday night. It's from seven to eight o'clock at Responsible Community Building. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, can we have a motion to adjourn? Um, this is right, I'd like to, well, go ahead, George. I'd like to remind everybody that we have a national election November 8th. Don't worry. Right? I remember. <laughs> I just, you know. Can't wait. Okay. Thank okay. you, Paul. Can we have a motion to adjourn? Yes. This is Beth McCarthy. I make a motion that we adjourn this meeting. <laughs> we have a second. Ryan, go hold and I'll second. All in favor, roll call vote. Beth McCarthy. Aye. George Jessup. Aye, and good Leslie evening. Wallace. Aye. Ryan Caholan. Aye. And Paul Richard. Aye. All right. Thank you all and have a good evening. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Thank you.